uh, super exciting. Actually, they don't all know this, but I think I'll get them to be involved in this ETV today, and then I'll show you kind of what we have planned. So, um, let's start here with everyone. I'll turn the microphone on. Okay, I think my microphone's on now. Okay, everyone, uh, please give your partner a big round of applause for sharing, first of all. Thank you, round of applause. Um, you're probably wondering why I have the, uh, my phone out here like this. This is how I do my entrepreneur TV videos. So I'm actually do in the middle of doing one right now while I'm here on stage. Uh, so would everyone love to uh, just uh, wave to the world, give them a bit of a cheer from in here in Manchester. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, I thought I'd keep this going because uh, I'm about to come around and just invite a few of you just to share what's been like one of the biggest distinctions from us talking about Entrepreneur 5.0 today. Who would like to share? Who would like to have some YouTube time? On videos, you see now everyone's gone really shy here. Like, oh, and by the way, you can nominate someone if you want to as well. We've got Philip here, right? So here comes a mic here. Can we give Philip a big round of applause? All right, here we go. Now, Philip, we will see you. I'll try and do it so the light's not there. What's being big thing for you? Well, I'm really glad you said that if you haven't been doing your social media brilliantly, don't worry because the digital layering it's a whole new style. It's, it's a whole new really style. relieving. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think for any I think everyone here who's really concerned that you're not yet an influencer and don't have tens of thousands of followers are going to realise that that was never the way to actually get to success anyway. Um, and and like I just w watched a really interesting YouTube video, which I actually I'll post it down below here as well. From some of some of you might be following his name is Veritasium. He basically does some really, really great science videos. And he did this whole analysis about how there's this whole fatigue happening with YouTubers because like the algorithms are meaning they're getting less and less and less views. And so he basically analyzes the whole thing and says, Well, what do I do now? Right? So he's doing it from a scientific point of view. And the reality is that the whole new world is going to be very, very different. Um, share for everyone what you do and how how long we've known each other as well. Uh, so I do property wealth dynamics, I do the wealth dynamics coaching of Simon Zucci's mastermind. Right. Uh, been involved in property for sort of 21 years. I was out in Bali with Roger on the wealth dynamics masters coming up with a new business about bringing disused buildings back into the community use for the use of communities. Got it. And uh, yeah. And so one of the most important things is that a lot of people here are, are involved in like property investing. Um, if you wanted to share how important it is to get, and this is all part of Entrepreneur 5.0, a global mindset, and a global community to be thinking differently about property, what would you share with every, everyone, right, about that? Right? Well, I mean, the Michael Gong story, there is money and demand out in other places, and also the social entrepreneur side of things, and not just a lot of property investors are there, and look at my big Ferrari, give me money because I can do this. Actually, you know, the really successful people now are helping the homeless, young offenders, battered women, there's a whole sector of communities and actually tenants aren't just cash machines, they're customers and creating experience and building that around it, you know, as you say, joining a community is becoming more and more prevalent in the market, which is very different to what was being thought about very 15 different. years very ago. Very different, right? So, like, so impact investing is in every aspect, it's, it's not just because you're investing in social enterprises, even if you're investing in asset like property, you can turn that into force for good, yeah. right? And that's all part of the pipeline as well. All right, thank you very much. Can we give Philip a big round of applause? Thank you. All right. Um, who else would like to share? Who else would like to share? We've got a chance for one more sharing. You can nominate someone as well. Okay, it looks like nominations happening over here. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> all right, who are we nominating here? Yeah, okay. Uh, well, first of, all, first of all, before we hand it over, share why you're nominating, who you're nominating, and why you're nominating. So, don't my so why are you normally looking at this? What's your name, by the way? Victoria. Victoria. Here's Victoria here. Okay, so, so Victoria, stand up for a moment. Because you see that you can't just basically nominate someone and then get away with it. Yeah. So, so, why were, so Victoria, why were you nominating Otis? Well, I'm nominating Otis because I think that he needs to share what he's, he's learning with everybody. Okay. And um, I mean, I introduced him to, to you because I've got so much value. So I'm, I want to find out what value he's got and I'm going to do it publicly. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's come into the audience. Let's give Otis a big round of applause. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, so what's been, what's been a big distinction just out of the morning session? Yeah, I think it's been very interesting to move back, moving from 4.0 to 5.0. And as I develop my new business, I will make sure that I embed everything that I've learned from today. And also, it's interesting looking at 
things changing from the venture capital to venture building process. Yes. Yeah. So, a lot of venture into so it's been very, very valuable. So thank you for so, so so just for anyone who's watching and anyone who was here but wasn't listening at the time, the whole idea of venture capital to venture builder is the three elements that really make up success is you have the funder if you do need financing, the founder who's always got a good idea, and then whoever's gonna be growing or scaling the business. Um, and too often VC just hopes the founder will figure out how to scale, which isn't always the case, which is why they have like one in 10 successes, whereas Venture Builder actually knows how to scale and ensures you're scaling as well. What kind of business do you have? So at the moment, I'm um, gonna launch my own superfood product range. Oh, okay. Yeah, so initially when I was doing it there, was, uh, doing, was working with different suppliers and- so, you, so this is your brand or? So this will be my brand. So initially I was working with different suppliers and doing like monthly distribution, but now I'm doing modeling the structure where the Packaging our own products and we use Amazon fulfillment to do the distribution. So the okay. is just on marketing. Yeah. So okay. In the process of setting. So you're at the starting point of that. Yeah. Right. So we've got our suppliers that import us from of the products from Africa and now we're just um, getting quotes from different manufacturers to package those products and then move on from there. So it's all so it's all about that scaling thing in the middle. You've got the idea. Mm -hmm. You've got the market. Right. It's obviously a, like the healthy food is a really big massive growth market right now. Yeah. But it's how you actually now do the skinny thing in the middle to make it work, right? Yeah, that's okay, very cool. Can we give just a round of applause? Thank you. Uh, I'm going to come. I'm going to come a couple of steps back here. I'm coming to Anthony Chadwick here. Look at that. <laughs> Can we give Anthony a big round of applause? So um, I come back to Anthony. Anthony's got one of these red red things on here, right? Which means he's one of the Christmas Open members. And Anthony, we've known each other for how long now? Five six years. Five six years, right? Yeah. So I did your test in 2010, which was a real. Um, light bulb moment for me because this I realized the dynamics, well, dynamics, yeah, yeah. Talent dynamics. I realized there was a star and I yeah. was spending all my time trying to be an administrator and I wasn't very good at it so that was something that immediately helped right. me to get to the next level so we're here yeah, I'm gonna go this way so people behind you can see you as well <laughs> um, Anthony by the way uh, really started as a vet right yeah. like a vet as in not the Vietnam vet but the animal vet <laughs> and uh, and, and so for any of you who are in a profession or in something where it's like, well, I'm just selling my time for money, um, you know, talking about 5.0, Anthony was already doing that like, even back then, right, with the starting of work market. Uh, and we were just talking about scaling, right, and the fact that we are seeing this huge shift in the market where there are people who are vets who said, well, the reason I got into this business was because I like animals and I want to make a difference in the world, and, but that doesn't mean they actually got the business ability to actually really manage it. So do you want to share with everyone the thinking of work market and what happened when you realize, hey, I don't need to just make money by you know, going out there being a vet, but I can actually help all vets, and how that then actually allowed the whole business to grow. So we have to do um, CPD, continuing professional development, as a vet, 35 hours a year. You know, I was a vet in practice. It was very difficult to do it. But I went outside, I went to an internet conference, and saw somebody talking about webinars. Went back to the veterinary profession and said, everybody, we need to do webinars, and people said, What's a webinar? <laughs> so that was 2010, nobody knew what it was. It's now probably the most common way that we learn in the veterinary right. profession. So it's been very transformational. And um, <clears throat> we get lovely testimonials from people who just say, you know, we've got so much more time now to spend with the family. Well, here's the issue, right? Like, like if you know, and it's for, for quite a few professions, vets, one of them, yeah. where you actually have to do the continuing education. You have to get the credits to just stay as a vet. And that means if you have to go and physically go to a workshop, you've got to close down the vet or you, you, know, you can't be earning money that way. Whereas by you signing up the webinars, people can go straight onto the webinars and see yeah. it straight away. That's um, right. And then, but you also have like then said, okay, well, as well as us doing that, we could actually make it where it's not just easier, it's also cheaper. We could yeah. get the actual recognition of like the veterinary association. Yeah. And then also at the same time, get sponsorship for the different areas as you do that as well, right? Well, once you digitalize something, you democratize it, and to a degree, you demonetize it, so that we're able to, you know, offer training. I reckon 10 years ago, it would take me 5,000 pounds, a lot of wasted time when I was traveling. You know, we now do a virtual congress last year, 6,000 delegates from 97 countries. Virtual congress, meaning they're all just connecting yeah. online, right? And with um, virtual reality, <clears throat> you're gonna make that whole thing 3D as well. Th this is still the hope, but you know, the conference 200 pounds, somebody buys a ticket, we give away a ticket to a vet in a developing country. So the animals in those countries are benefiting from the fact that the vets are better qualified, right. they're gonna look after the animals better. So, you know, when I had my vet practice, I had 
you know, a thousand, two thousand pets that I looked after. Now I look after, you know, 40, 50,000 vets and nurses who right. have their effect. Have so their... that allows it to multiply. And so yeah, on. absolutely. I, I think, let's do this, right? Like, I'm going to go all the way this way because I think just, um, just having an experience of seeing what does, what does the company look like once it starts to evolve. Oh, hang on. I'll just, um, yeah, we're going to see the screen here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just open Webinar Vet here. Let's see if I can find it. Um, I love, I love coming to Anthony's website, right? Because if you think of the kind, like think of this like Netflix, Netflix for vets, right? <laughs> Where you got, here he goes, like here's the top part, you can see here, 44th World Small Animal Veterinary Association Congress. He's got leaders in providing vets with veterinary CPD. You can't have a vet um, website without a picture of a cat. So we've got the cat here as well. Like here's the, here's the resort here, right? So. There's the image there. What am I doing this for? I could actually drop this in afterwards. Okay, wait, I'll continue on. And then, but then here's what's so great. Like you then have got, like check this out, how to manage equine obesity. Like cows get fat too, right? So this, this goes through. And what's so great about this, clinical research experience, like, like, like imagine watching your Netflix for the next thing you want to watch, right? And the, this is what vets get really excited by, right? Transmissible spongy form and so forth. <laughs> What's one of the mad cow disease? Mad cow disease, which right? Is almost gone, but there's still a couple of cases that come up every and, and what are your passions, uh, Anthony, when it comes to animals? And uh, dermatology. Dermatology. I did sort of small animal dermatology, so uh, it helped me at the beginning to sort of promote myself as a speaker. So I, in the first year after developing webinar, that I ended up in Iceland in the south of France. So it's probably you know. I ended up having to travel, but I was giving rather than receiving the CPD and the South of France. So and all of these... Quite nice places to go to. Right. To talk about <laughs> animals and... Scary uh, dogs. It, scary dogs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and what's so great here is you've got every one of these has got sponsorship going on as well, right? So you've actually got... You're actually making the money from the sponsorship. You're actually then also having all these different experts that are coming on board. And then obviously everyone's paying membership to be part of something, which is helping them, which then goes on to help others as well, right? So, yeah, and tonight I've got a dash back because we're doing um, starting a series on mindfulness for, for the vets to try and help, uh, you know, with stress and the professional. So, which is a thrill to, you know, as a vet, I'm helping some of the younger members of the profession. Right. So it's, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's awesome. Can we please give Anthony a big round of applause? Thank you, man. Thanks for sharing with um, And this is. Um, and so this is now a billion pound business, and it's a tech company, right? Like it start, you're thinking, well, high tech and high touch, and you're seeing that experience happen here as well. Uh, so just a few different examples, Entrepreneur 5.0 and what's happening today happens to be the day we're launching Entrepreneur 5.0 as well, right? So we're gonna kind of share this out to everybody, but it's so fantastic, again, talk about high tech, high touch, to be here with all of you as well. Uh, so thank you very much, and please uh, finish with a, a big uh, kind of cheer for everyone who's watching. Thanks very much from here in Manchester. Bye.